The focus on sustainability is vital. We need to ensure that we're able to adapt and improve our resilience in a world that is only getting more and more complex. Given the importance of our customers' missions to global security, and given the context of things like climate change, the global energy transition and inflationary pressures, it becomes clear how important it is that we're able to help preserve that customer mission for embracing sustainable practices. When we talk about sustainability outside of defence, we often get asked the question, why does it matter? It's really important for people to understand that sustainability and defence really go hand in hand. Take climate change as a really good example of that. Rising temperatures and extreme weather events will mean that our military installations and equipment need to be resilient to this and the changing conditions. This is both to maintain capability and to avoid disruption in daily military operations. So Google quite neatly defines sustainability as the ability to be maintained at a certain rate or level. If we look at our customers' mandate, generally they want to get there first, stay there longer and win the fight. However, this is increasingly under threat from emerging risks such as extreme weather events, geopolitical risks uh, associated with access to critical raw minerals and materials, and also market realities around fossil fuel rich enterprises. We want to help our customers maintain that mandate in both today and tomorrow's climate. You need to consider the knock-on effects of climate change as well. Increasing temperatures and extreme weather events can and will continue to lead to humanitarian crisis. Food, water, energy security, disaster relief, mass migration, in all of these situations defence plays a key role. So it's important that our products are resilient to this and ideally don't contribute further to the problem of climate change. Our customers are already leading the way when it comes to sustainability. The UK government has established a legal requirement to be net zero by 2050. Therefore, when we're designing products for 10, 20, 30 years in the future, we really need to consider this. The RAF has a net zero by 2040 target, which is ambitious, but is something that we can be part of working towards as part of the Future Combat Air System, which also helps us to meet our customer expectations. We are definitely really inspired by the RAF's net zero 2040 ambitions. Considering the Future Combat Air System will enter into service at some point in the middle of the next decade, it's important that this system of systems fits into that sustainable bracket. What a challenge, certainly one we are trying to get our heads around. To help our customers meet their goals, we are working to embrace sustainability as business as usual across the way we work. This will influence things like how we engage with our suppliers, what skills we develop as part of our career development frameworks, and also how we engineer our products through their life. Across Rolls-Royce, we are already pioneering sustainable innovation throughout our product base with things such as small modular nuclear reactors, our recent engine tests using hydrogen as a fuel, our microgrids, as well as a new era of electric and hybrid electric power systems for air vehicles. Sustainability isn't something that you can just add into the end of a product. Sustainability has to be integrated into the design, manufacture, service, a full life cycle of a product, including the facility's carbon footprint. That means changing the way we do things and challenging the norm. Within our team, that means taking requirements from the customer and flowing that down into our day-to-day -day work. We can collaborate outside in Rolls-Royce with some great examples of projects which have been done in the wider business. For example, the, the test flight of the 747 using 100% SAF in a Trent 1000 engine, or the recent Voyager air-to-air -air refuelling using a blended SAF. Rolls-Royce has a real opportunity to do things differently, which in a way which benefits our customer, the company and the world around us. It's not an opportunity you get with very many jobs to be driving such positive change and it really motivates me to be working with a team who are as excited and as passionate as I am.